Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here. Yeah, man, I'm running that Battlefield 4 right now. Running with a few subs, a few randoms. A couple people hit me up on the late night. You know how the game go. But I'm actually here to talk to you guys about a few tips and tricks. I know a lot of people probably been on YouTube like, yo, how do I level up in Battlefield 4? What's the catch? What's the gimmick? What's the tricks? What's the tips? Where's the how-to videos? Well, here you go. Now, it's been a lot of people out there saying, hey, yo, iPod, should I get this game? And I've been telling people like, hell, yes, get this game. You want to know why? Because you could do stuff like that. When somebody come in to knife you, you actually have the option to kill them. Oh, my God. But it ain't about that, man. I'm here to break down the classes to y'all. I'm here to break down how to level up faster. So, first thing, you have to pick your class. You either have the choice of Assault, Support, Engineer, or Recon. Now, I'm going to sit here and say which class is the best. I know a lot of people might have a couple problems with me after this, but I will have to say Engineer is the best class for Battlefield 4, no matter what type of game you're playing. May it be Domination, may it be Diffuse, may it be Rush. May it be Conquest, may it be Squad Team Deathmatch, it does not matter. Engineer is the best class. Now, I'm going to tell you why it's the best class in a minute, but first I want to talk to you guys about the other classes because I know you're probably like, well, if that's the best class, what's wrong with all the other ones? Okay, let's talk about the Assault class. Not really too much wrong with the class, you know, you got a Medic Pack, you have Assault Rifles, you have um, attached shotguns or grenade launchers to the bottom of your guns if you would like. But the big thing that's wrong with Assault is that you don't have a choice of an RPG. You don't have a choice of C4. You, you don't have a choice of any of that as well as when you're shooting your gun, the stability just isn't as good as it should be. Now, I'm not saying that it's something wrong with the class in general. I'm just saying that those are the small things that are wrong with the assault class that doesn't make it the best. It's a, it's a great class for those guys who like to rush into things, see guys on the front line, pick a couple people off from close range and medium range. But as it goes for long range, it ain't too good. Now, let's talk about support for a second. Now, support class is more of the LMGs, you know, the 100 round clips and stuff like that. But with the support class, you also get to have C4, claymores, grenade launchers. That's a class that you can use at close, medium, long range. But the thing about that is you give out bullets. That is it. If you want to reload your 100 round clips, you can give out bullets to your teammates. But the thing about support is when you give out support, they don't give you medics. I had five medics on my squad. I'm throwing out bullets left and right. Guess what people were giving me? Nothing. They weren't giving me a medic pack. I was dying. Nobody wanted to defend me. None of that. <laughs> so when you're running the support class, you really have to think about your bullet output because at some point in time, you're going to run out of bullets, you're going to be behind enemy lines, and you're not going to know what to do. So for support, it's pretty good. And also another thing, close range, I will have to say that it isn't 100% accurate at close range because you know you you're shooting your gun is kicking all over the place so stability is also an issue for support class now let's talk about recon now for all those sniping loving guys out there no you can't no scope i haven't seen it in the game so far but as it goes for recon you don't just have sniper rifles you also can have shotguns you can have uh, mini SMGs, such as, you know, something like a Mac 10, maybe, you know, you can have that in your recon class as well. Now, the other things about recon is you can actually put up a spawn point on the map instead of, you know, deploying from wherever you, you know, you came from at, where at your deployment site, you can actually create those and some of your teammates can actually spawn there. Now, the problem with recon 
is medium range now at long range if you're if you're equipped with the sniper rifle you have no problem hitting guys if you're equipped with the the mini smgs or the micro smgs whatever you want to want to call them you really don't have a problem but when it goes comes to that medium range and you're trying to aim at a guy that's literally like a block away and he's lighting you up six seven bullets and you're still trying to aim that's the problem with that class you won't be able to hit them it is so hard to aim down your sights moving into place and stuff like that that's the big problem with recon now with um recon as well you do get like you know um motion sensors and you're able to spot different guys stuff like that because that's what recon is all about but let's get into the best class now engineer as it goes you can use engineer for any game mode like i said now this is the reason all their guns are smgs and you know some many maybe many or some may have bigger clips but for the most part you're you're rocking with the smgs now the second thing about the actual engineer class is the guns you can unlock the carbine class and everybody knows carbine rifles are just dope they have better stability and everything now in battlefield 4 some people might say oh man all smgs are good for its close range no 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 actually the smgs in this game are all about stability if your gun has very little stability you're not gonna win the gunfight at all i'm telling you right now no matter what gun you use if it's not stable when you're firing the gun you will not win that gun battle now in this match i'm using an actual smg i'm in my engineer class you know now if i'm playing something like conquest guess how easy it is for me to level up guys all i gotta do is follow a tank the entire mission lay down some tank mines or you know use my rocket launcher when i run into a tank by myself i can take a tank down by my lonesome without having any problems now the other thing about following tanks i could follow my teammate tanks and actually heal or repair the tank itself when it's taking damage you actually get points for that so with the engineer class it's the easiest class to level up in any game mode now conquest i will have to say one time in conquest i think i got about seven thousand to eight thousand points and this was off of capping flags riding with the tank laying down tank mines switching things up every time i died come with the rpg spawn on certain maps take out a tank take the flag i was going in it's like engineer is literally a all like do it all class like you can't lose with this class i'm telling you guys so if you want to win these games you want to level up fast you want to go with engineer now a big plus about engineer like i said you can get these carbine rifles once you get a carbine rifle you pick up the first one and then you use that and you start unlocking every other carbine rifle so if you all about the carbine rifles having good stability you definitely want to get this class i'm not gonna i'm not telling you guys no lies now of course you can level up with other classes but it's no class like engineer to level up you can hit guys from close range you can hit guys from long range you can do it all man i'm telling y'all straight up and down man straight no chase but hey if you guys don't want to listen to me man look at the gameplay man the gameplay speaks for itself i was going in you know what i'm saying when i was shooting my gun it wasn't kicking like that all crazy i was letting my rpgs loose like i can't wait till i get my landmines like I just got put on to engineer class after playing one game with it. So, you know, soon enough, I'll be doing I'll be doing it big. But um, I actually wanted to give you guys a channel update video. And I decided, you know what? I'm actually giving it to you guys in this Battlefield 4 video. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about NBA 2K14, Madden 25, um... Grand Theft Auto 5 asking me a hey, iPod where's the videos what's going on what you got going on well let me tell you guys 
it's been a busy month for me and it's going to be another busy month followed by another busy month so you guys have to understand halloween birthdays thanksgiving birthdays christmas birthdays i'm gonna be a busy busy bee so what i want to tell you guys is nba 2k14 current gen i traded it in madden 25 current gen i traded it in grand theft auto 5 i still have the game but i haven't been playing online like that ever since i got battlefield 4 it's a new game i mean and i'm in tune with it so that's why i'm dropping these videos for y'all now when next gen comes everybody's going to be asking me this as well what console am i getting i am getting a ps4 it's already paid for it's in the box sealed with my name on it i'm just waiting to pick it up all right so as soon as i get my ps4 i will have nba 2k 14 first day i will have call of duty ghost first day battlefield 4 first day i will have nba live 14 when that comes out um also i have need for speed rivals pre-order i have the crew pre-order i have um ufc ea sports when they start their pre-orders i'm gonna pre-order for that so expect a lot of gameplay on the 15th the 16th and the 17th the first three days of the new console being out the ps4 i'm gonna bombard my channel with videos y'all gonna get videos every day multiple videos every day i don't care about analytics and insights and all of that just stop by the channel hit the the, the watch button you know what i'm saying put it in your watch later maybe you could check it out later or something you know throw it a like or whatever and you know what i'm saying we just gonna make it do what it do um, I'm going to create my point guard first for NBA 2K14. I'm going to be doing my point guard. I'm going to be doing the my GM mode. And I will be, you know, getting my feet wet with my team again. Maybe I'll do a little bit of my team and see what's up. Also, the park. I'm going to try to figure out what's going on with the park when that comes out. So, just expect. I know for a fact, November 15th. The first day that the PS4 drops is going to be a lot of NBA 2K14 next gen on my channel. So if you looking to get that the next gen, um, that I I don't, I don't want to say. <laughs> I was about to say drug injection, but but no. If you want if you want to get the fix, you know what I'm saying for some next gen footage from me for 2K, definitely hit my channel up on November 15th. Um, you guys, as it goes for all you Call of Duty fans out there. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing that as well, but Battlefield 4 is gonna get a lot of my attention because I just like the way this game plays. Like it's it's real warfare, man. Like dudes just can't, you know, shoot you down with two bullets and it feels like, you know what I'm saying, you let off your whole clip and ain't even get one shot in. So um yeah, man, as it goes for my channel update, next gen holla at me. I'm gonna be on the PS4, my gamer tag gonna be iPod King Carter, of course. And I'm just going to be doing it up, man. I'm going to be putting out a lot of videos. And, you know what I'm saying? It's just as simple as that. Now, just to show you guys my level up. This was a domination game. I didn't do nothing with any vehicles. I didn't, uh, you know, blow up any vehicles, lay, lay down any mines. This was all domination, capping flags and getting kills. But this is IKC signing out. I hope you guys liked the video. Peace. Yep. Yeah. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC click subscribe. Oh and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.